We all have different reasons for pursuing the things that give our lives meaning. Many of us find it in the jobs we hold or the children we're raising, but for us, that wasn't quite enough. Not to take anything away from the men and women grinding it out to provide for their families, but from as far back as I can remember, the need for adventure has not just been a desire to be quenched, but part of who I am. If I'd have been born a hundred years ago, I'd have been leading wagon trains through the Oregon Trail or exploring untouched jungles of the Amazon, but I wasn't. I was born right here, smack dab in the middle of our technological age where exploration and adventure are harder and harder to come by. But I'd be lying if I said that the only reason we're doing this is for adventure. You see, I've watched many people come home from traveling abroad and not one of them have returned the same. I'm not entirely sure what it is or if they could even describe in words the changes that happen when thrust into a completely foreign environment for an extended amount of time. But for me, the one desire I have is to let go of my ego somewhere along that unfamiliar road. Uh, I'm Jason. I'm a father of two, a husband and a creator. A little nuts, very driven, and a junkie for adventure in the unknown. Today's shakedown day for the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna take it out for a day. We actually have not a chance to use it and won't before we leave So this is our one chance to uh, do an overnighter in it and shake down as much as we can It's always somewhat of a fiasco getting the whole family out on the trail So we're just about to take off so we can meet the Sinclairs over at their house at 10 o'clock And it's almost 9 now. So. My name's Francesca. I am a mother, a wife, and I have a full-time job. I am organized, driven, and motivated. It is Saturday, January 4th, I think. I don't know, I'm losing track of days. Anyways, um, we are going to Detroit Lake with our friends, the St. Clairs. We're gonna go try out the trailer for a day and see how things go. My first impression about traveling abroad for six months was Probably a little nervous in the beginning, but excited just because it's a new adventure and I don't know, you never know what can come out of it. I think the thing I'm looking forward to the most is just slowing down and experiencing different cultures with my family. I, I don't think there's a better way to experience things than with your family because you kind of have vicariously lived through your kids and you're living the experience yourself. So it's kind of a unique experience to be able to travel with Two young kids that are typical all-American kids, but uh, and just seeing, seeing things through their eyes as well. Jason just pulls out my little camera and goes, this is a really good investment for you. He pauses. He's over here smiling. He's taken my camera a couple times. I really like the minimalistic lifestyle. I don't like a lot of stuff, and I feel like what appeals to me about living on the road is the simplicity of it. You don't really have a lot of things you're relying on each other. So you have a little bit more time to actually focus on each other, focus on life. I feel like the one thing I hope that I get out of this trip is losing my ego. I have a very strong will and I like things done a certain way. And I think one of the biggest downfalls I have is the expectation I put on other people. I put a very high expectation on myself and so I expect the same thing from other people and that puts a lot of strain on relationships. And so I feel like if I can take away one thing from this trip is being able to like breathe in the moment and let what happens happens and not have to try to control things so much. Right, so we uh, just left um, the Sinclair's house and now we're on our way to get gas. We need to make the long fuel up, 58 gallons all the way up. I hope, I guess, just by the end of the trip to find a little bit more balance in life and to enjoy the moments. I feel like sometimes I'm looking to the future. Okay, what's next? And not actually enjoying the moment or in now. Well, it's snowy and slippery, and we're towing, and it's beautiful though, check this out. So we're here at the campground, and uh, yeah. it's powdery. It looks good. It's gonna be, uh, we weren't planning on actually camping in the snow, 
our plan was to clamp below the snow line and then go play in the snow, but Mother Nature had other plans. So I'm gonna go find our spot and uh, yeah, good stuff. And there's a bathroom that looks like it's open. A gift that keeps on giving. Okay, so we're leveled out. Now we gotta get this thing totally set up for the first time. So the only thing we don't have is our shower awning. Everything else I think we have. So I think the next step after getting the leveled, the pop out's out and I think I'm gonna uh, get the awning out. So that's what we do next. That's the Okay, we are going to go to the lake to check out the lake at night and so we figured before it gets completely dark, which it almost is, we'll go to the lake and see what that's all about. It looks like it's frozen over, but uh, we'll check it out and see. <laughs> this is why we're going to Asia. Because <laughs> we, don't, we don't do particularly well in the cold weather. Well, on the fire. And there's the lake. The no, Ruby's on your dad's shoulders. Not the one she wanted to stay next to. That one didn't make, that wasn't that what bad. Was? On John Day? There ain't no way. Dad, that you, Dad? Dad, that you, Dad? Hour 13, we've lost our way in the forest. Kids are running out of patience, no food. My headlamp's running out of batteries. Are we gonna make it? Are we gonna make it back to our camp? Gonna... All right, Woo, we made it. We're almost there. Good job, Jackson. You did it all by yourself? Good job, We bro. made it. Yay. Your toes are frozen. Yeah. We went to the lake. That was pretty cool. We found a fire down there and then came back. Now we're cooking mac and cheese for the kids and hanging out at camp and getting things put together. And Yuki is just shaking freezing. Sorry if I'm super flashy because of the LED lighting, but uh, good day. Got to shake out the trailer a little bit. I wouldn't say we were uh, real comfortable with it, but we actually ran into an issue with the water heater. It has a hole in one of the lines, so just another thing we need to fix. <laughs> but anyways, um, gonna hang out, uh, have some fun, and then uh, go pass out. So, good night.
Okay, it's uh, the first morning of our trip, and the only morning of our trip, because we're leaving today, but um, it was uh, nice and toasty in the trailer. The only thing is, is condensation was a little crazy on some of the metal, and we got a few drips on our faces, but that's pretty much the only issue, to be honest. So everything else, toilet room worked great, toilet worked great, awning worked great, so even got a list going of stuff that we need, so... Decent shakedown run. It would have been better if we weren't hindered by the snow, but it added a pretty cool element, so... Got down off the mountain. A little tiny bit sketchy with the trailer coming down, but not too bad. And now we're eating some chicken. Delicious Chester's chicken. Delicious. <laughs> but uh, I think we might go down to another lake and uh, check out the lake bed because they drained a lot of it because of uh, some repairs to the dam, I guess. And so it's lower than usual, so we might go check that out. Okay, so down here is a dried up lake bed, half dried up, and uh, there's some old foundations for an old town that was in. Yeah, if you look up Wagon uh, Detroit Lake, like there's, it's like half in the mud, it's just, it looks perfect basically, but that's it's crazy. a wagon that's got abandoned here. A guy found it and posted about it on on like social media, but he wouldn't give out the location of where it's at. And I mean, obviously it's thousands of acres to try and find, find it. Find it, yeah. All right, so the remnants of an old town, which <clears throat> the closest town now is Detroit, uh, Oregon, but it was called something different at that point. Hey, sis! And this is like the remnants of it, all the old foundations, it's all that's left. The building's on this side over here, and these. What do you think this was when it was still here? A house. A house? Hi. Are you having so much fun? I'm so cold. In the freezing, freezing cold. Crowded. I think this is the biggest crowd I've ever seen. Okay, well, that's a wrap. Sinclair's just took off to head for home. We're about to do the same, and uh, it was a fun time. A little messier than we thought it was gonna be, a little snower than we thought it would be, and definitely colder, but we had a good time anyways, and got to shake things down a little bit, and uh, figure things out the best we could before we ship off, and uh, hopefully we'll be doing that soon. Even as I sit to write this and anxiously await our quickly approaching departure date, I can't help but smile as I look back on the struggles and frustrations of the last few months. I think there's something about being able to watch myself and family through the lens of a camera that somehow weirdly puts everything into perspective. It's hard to be frustrated when blessed with a healthy family and difficult to complain about daily struggles when you're looking at the road that lays ahead of us. I guess it's all part of the journey. 
Anyway, thank you for following along on our family's crazy overland adventures through Southeast Asia. We can't wait to share this journey with you. And from the Oxfam to your family, safe travels, and we'll see you on the next one. She's getting <laughs> frozen. It's like legit. Frozen. It's like legit. It's like legit <laughs> it is guys. not frozen. It's legit got like frost on the top. What do you like? A bite? It ain't frozen. <laughs> you should try this. It's super good. It's super good. Would you like a split pea frosty? <laughs>